Folks, we're back at the small table for you, and we're going to do a tropical safari table right here on my take on Home and Garden. Well, guys, you know I've been dying to do this table. We had to get 4th of July and our crab boil out of the way. So here we are at the five seater table. And I'm going to start off with this beautiful 70 inch all cotton in the damask style tablecloth. Look at this. We got vines and leaves. And this color is called mushroom. Alrighty, guys. And look at. The inspiration for today's table, you saw our placemats. Now I want to put that on a little bit of an angle, just off the edge of the table, I think. And we're going to tip to the left, and we're all they're all going to be the same. Then our dusky green dinner plates by IKEA. Okay, right there. So our philodendron leaf placemat in gold, our IKEA dinner plate, 100% cotton, 18 inch napkin, in a wonderful forest green. Then here's our superstar, <laughs> Sakura by Oneida. Okay, and there's different salad plates. How cute can you get? You saw those in a haul, folks, too. Now, you know I'm going to have a centerpiece. <laughs> Look at the colors coming together today. Here is a rare time when you do any decorating that you can use orange, green, yellow, red, and blue all at the same time. They're in these plates and it just really works for this theme. Okay now, so we're gonna, I want that center medallion and I like, you know, the color matches. We're gonna build a completely different centerpiece. I showed you a little bit in the new florals we picked up. And you know I gotta have some tropical fern. Gotta have some fiddler fern in this arrangement. We'll get them kind of random. You know I like to use an odd amount. There's three. Next, what's important? Just a little something. Let's get this wisteria up here. Not crazy, just one piece in our light fixture. What else is he gonna do? Oh, they're saying. Here's our Phalaenopsis orchid leaf, and that's gonna kind of proudly crown the front of this arrangement. Now we got our Sakuma ginger. There's our Sakuma. Do I have to tell you what that does for our tropical and safari? Look at our Scottish thistle. The turning Timothy. You may not find it in the jungle, but I want that element in here too. Then our Plumeria Frajapani. Look at the color, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's why I couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Look at this. Get those leaves managed a bit. Okay, you see even the Frajapani has colors of the plate. Cream and yellow. So we're going to stay with that. 
there's hardly any yellow in here. Nobody would even think to put it in here, but we're gonna with them. Yellow, wonderful. Mums, look at that. Then I think I wanna throw it a bit with one piece of lavender. You know I gotta get it in here. Probably lavender will be a part of my arrangements right to Christmas now. <laughs> We're early, they're not. But it starts kicking in right away. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I can't take it. Then look at our plate again. Orange, yellows. Oh man. This is just so different. I think I'm going to come up in the back a little bit. We're just going to frame this with those fiddler fern. They've nicely been back and out of the way. This is just colorful and fun. But I want to remind you, you know, if you're confused at all, anybody, what you're seeing, you're seeing wild colors and fun, but we're still going to stay elegant. Now we're going to want to get the rest of these placemats around. And again, I want that same angle. You notice we're doing a tropical safari table and there's not much green, okay? Everybody's done that. That's why we want to be different here. Alrighty. Now we've got our flatware and we're going to have a dinner knife on the right facing the plate. As many of you know, and have been here more than once, then the dinner spoon and the dessert spoon is next. On the left, dinner fork, salad fork, dinner fork, salad fork. And if there was a dessert fork, because you're having pie instead of ice cream or pudding, that can go on the outside of this salad fork or it can go to the top of the plate. And the handle, proper table setting etiquette, the handle would face the forks like it come around like this. Okay? Now if you need a spoon for coffee and a spoon for dessert, it could be placed at the top also like this. But the handle faces the spoons. Like it come around like this. Alrighty, we got our basic setup but we're just not exciting yet. <laughs> we have safari going on. So we got to incorporate, how about an antelope horn here? Inconspicuously behind our arrangement. You knew I had to make it different. Like I said, we have some ancillary pieces. There's our biscuit jar for today. I do have a busy table today, so I'm going to have to figure out everything. <laughs> and we'll change that out. Now, you know we're not. going without fruit on the table. Gotta have some fruit. And plenty of room for our glasses coming up. So believe me, we are having an African meal today. And it's going to be 
African style chicken stew. And it's cooked with rice and tomatoes. It's just wonderful. So that's what's different today's meal. Got a feather in our cute birds for the table. You know we're gonna have a wine. How about a candle on the palm tree pedestal? Get that in. So we can have fun and we can use loud colors and still be absolutely elegant, guys. Check it out. I got a couple more things to add. <laughs> Today we're having a semi-sweet red wine by Stella Rosa. Stella Rosa. Just wonderful. And just because everything won't fit in that matching bowl, we can have some extra mango and pomegranate going on. Polly, not Polly, Polly is going to be shown one more time this year. He's really coming into his own. <laughs> now, Folks, I'm going to have to take you and show you all around. So folks, you thought I forgot to mention our friends today. No, no sir. We're giving a shout out and a hello to Sharon Williamson and family out in California. And Tootie, Tootie, you're just been a doll. Hello Tootie. <laughs> and Mary from Ohio. Hello Mary, thanks so much for all your kind notes and reviews and being on our channel. 
Anyway, folks, thanks for coming by. We'll see you on our Instagram, and you know we appreciate everybody. If you thought you saw something different today, something elegant and beautiful, give us a like, a share, a comment. Send your friend over. We'll get them in the club and keep them happy. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Thanks, guys. Take care now. And we'll see you in the next Over the Top. We got the big crystal table coming. 100% crystal table. <laughs>